Hey, I'm back. This is video number three. And um, a couple housekeeping things before I forget is if you notice up there is a hashtag April's attributes. That's where you can find all of my videos all in one place. Also too, down below, you can um, like, make sure that you like my videos. And um, I have a little homework for you guys um, at the end where uh, you're going to have to uh, comment something for me. But since my videos have gotten such great response, I thought I would um, carry on with them. So today's um, uh, inspiration of the day is, and I have to read this one because it is a little bit long, is work for a cause, not for an applause. Live life to express, not to impress. Don't strive to make your presence noticed, just make your absence felt. And that I actually found on a nat natural health website, um, mercola.com, M-E-R-C-O-L-A.com. And the reason I chose that inspiration for today is because that is so true. Um, a little while back, I posted one with Oprah who said something along the lines of um, being successful, she, by being successful, the reason, how she became successful is because she did not focus on making money. And that is so true. I think, you know, when it says work for a cause and not an applause, that can be anything, people. That can be, you know, work for your children to make the best that you can for them. You know, um, work to be the um, most, uh, the best wife that you can, to be the best mom that you can, to be the best employee that you can. Um, whatever that is, just be the best you can and don't worry about the applause. Don't do it to get your, um, you know, so people can notice you. Just do it because you genuinely care and because you want to. Um, and also live life to express and not to impress. I feel like nowadays, um, you know, that is very taken for granted. Um, you need to express yourself, not to impress other people. You do you. That's what works best for you. So you should do you. Um, don't worry about, you know, everybody else and just rock you. Um, and don't strive to make your presence notice. Just make your absence felt. Here is how I feel about that. Most of you know, my husband travels for a living and, um, you know, ironically, he always hates to leave. Um, and I am always, going, okay, go now, see ya, bye. I always tell him, I not that I don't want him to leave, but I can't miss you until you're gone. <laughs> and then when he's gone, I'm like, where's my other half? I need him. Uh, you know, when I'm making dinner, well, I don't have anybody to say, well, what do you want to have for dinner? Or, you know, if he's having a rough day, I can't make him his favorite meal or give him a hug or a kiss. And that is... You know, that is making your absence be felt. You know, if you generally are making a difference in somebody's life, your absence will be felt. When you leave and you come home, if you're a mom, do your kids go, Mommy! Mine do. You know, and that's what I mean. When you, when you're having a family get together, like we did over the weekend, um, my sister in law and brother had a baby shower. And I was generally so happy and excited to see every single one of them because they make such a difference in my life. They're not out there trying to, you know, get my applause or try to impress me. They are them. And when I see them, I miss them. And, you know, their their absence is felt when I'm not with them. Um, so before I continue to ramble on. Um, my homework for you today is since we're on inspirations, and I'm going to actually change it up here um, next week, but since we're on inspirations, I want you to like on this side, like my video, and then right in the middle, I want you